My name is Sam Shooter. I'm a fine artist in Toronto, Canada, and I have been creating my work full time for about eight and a half years. What makes me passionate about art? I would say there's just so many layers there. It's creating something from nothing. It's the people that I meet. It's the, the use of color. It's being able to experiment with different materials that I've never used before. I'm learning so much. Even before I was doing this as a career, it was just, I was always creating or making something. I love to see something come to fruition by my own hand. And then through that, the other part that feeds me is the interactive element. Someone is always interacting with the art, whether it's the people at an exhibit or public art, just coming in contact with it, the reflection that it creates and what it stimulates in you. I find inspiration everywhere, but I, I just, I fall in love with um, design and architecture, like the surrounding environment. Much like the elements in a painting that I create, it's all about creating context and uh, composition you know, inspiration really comes from everywhere. I go downtown often, I, I uh, pop over to King Street or along Spadina and see some of these amazing fabric stores. And I'm cutting off swatches and I'm buying little fabric pieces. And then also just meeting the people, the, the subjects that I'm painting. And some of these like more thrill seeking environments, whether it is the corner of King and Bay or, you know, doing some snowboarders for the Four Seasons in Whistler. You know, it's just it's the action that I, I thrive off of also. So between the action and the color and the composition and the architecture, it's everywhere. I find Toronto so easy to find inspiration. I, when I pop over to King and Bay and I, I sit there with a coffee at lunch hour and I see the hustle and bustle of everyone moving around, I, I'm in love. I find so much good reference material to use there. And then I hop on the streetcar and I go over to like the Tiff Bell Lightbox area, hop in, see some of their, their new releases, which is a lot of fun. The whole, the whole vein of King Street itself, if I go out in the afternoon with you know my camera, it's, I'm done for. Like I could paint for weeks and weeks after that. When somebody looks at my work, I just, I want someone to take something different from each piece. I'm not trying to contrive anything or um, nothing is overly thought out. I'll see something, it'll inspire me. When I go downtown and I, and I feel that vibrancy in the city, I sort of come back to the canvas and I think, how do I translate that? And I let people feel that same energy when they come into the studio. It's, it's bright, it's happy, and um, they're just different parts of myself. And if they can see that in themselves, then it's, uh, then it's a great fit. It wasn't actually a decision to create art that looked and felt like this. It really evolved over time. I started doing just line drawings. Um, and then I would see, you know, it could be uh, on a piece of clothing, the label. I would see the palette and I would incorporate the palette with the line drawing and it evolved in organically. And then I went from a little bit of shading and then I started to fill it in and I didn't even know quite how to approach it. And then when I started to work with some great students at OCAD, they were teaching me all kinds of things and how to mix certain materials. And then it evolved. I think public art brings a community together. When a private sector can come and bring a different flavor to the masses and sort of enliven a particular area or street or network, I think it's a great mutual exchange where people can appreciate uh, the dialogue that they want to create from the project. I'll be honest, I've never done a project like this before and when I was approached by Empire, I didn't really know what to think or how to approach the project as a whole. They have been so incredible to work with and they're so supportive of local artists in Toronto. I was just so glad that I was able to work with the company. I hope when people are sort of circling around their community that when they see the hoarding that we put up, they see themselves. It's a bit of a reflection of their day to day and they relate to it directly and they feel that they belong here as they do. This is part of who they are and that it creates dialogue around the place that they chose to live.